MLB The Show has baseball coming your way from Tropicana Field here in St. Petersburg. Today, a matchup of AL East rivals between the Baltimore Orioles and the Tampa Bay Rays. Brian Kwan makes his big league debut right after this. Tyler Glasnow, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, you can't always judge a pitcher by the numbers. I know the ERA is into the fours coming into this start, but he's actually a pretty solid pitcher. And every once in a while, he could throw some decent games in there. It's not easy having an ERA under four in baseball. He's Leading slightly over that. This guy's a better pitcher than that ERA indicates. Number one. Now batting number one. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. And guys, the Rays, as they begin play here this afternoon, they'll look to make it three straight here as they come in on the heels of two straight wins. Yeah, Matty V. Hey, d -Row, this has not been the kind of homestand that they would like to have so far. Through the first five games, they're two and three. d -Row, getting to 500 on this homestand is certainly one thing they'd like to do here today. Yeah, they can salvage a little bit right now. They can walk out of here today with a smile on their face if they can get this back to 500 in these first six games. And he'll get there as he legs out the leadoff triple. And that triple could not, not have come at a better time. The team has really struggled the last few games trying to get over the hump, and they're looking for anything good to happen to them. And I'd say that triple definitely qualifies. They are fired up. That'll bring in Joey Rickard as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. Rickard. A Nevada native, he was a first-round pick back in the 2015 MLB draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is James Kingsley. Hey, Dero, James Kingsley's a pretty good umpire. He doesn't get too excited, keeps things under emotions. He's a pretty good ball and strike umpire. Yeah, James Kingsley will never show you up, and he's always approachable. And now the starting lineup for the visiting Baltimore Orioles. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? I'm really hoping to see Mark Trumbo turn it around. He's really struggled in the power category the last 10 games. How about zero home runs? You wouldn't expect that from a guy with the kind of power that he displays. Hopefully, this is the game he turns it around. Striding in, Mark Trumbo. Man, he's a guy really in need of something to click at the plate right now. It's been a rough go for him. First pitch on its way. Now a slider, and he gets ahead of him here 0-1. One and one. Runner on third, sack fly situation, right? Two pitchers down. Really good job of patience trying Whoa, to get a pitch that he can lift into the air to drive that runner home. Now the 2 1 pitch is laid off oh, on for ball play. number three. We're seeing a good AB here from the three hole hitter. If he can work a walk or pick up a hit here, he's going to put that cleanup guy in a really good position to do some damage in this first inning. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Only play is going to be at first, so that will go as an RBI that brings home the opening marker of the ball game. That's, That's good cool. hitting right there. The left put field. the ball in play White. and let the guy Nick. trot home from third to put your team on the board. Good baseball. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Dwight Smith Jr., as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Here's a cold strike about thigh high, nothing in one. Bases are empty here with two men out. That's lifted the other way out to left. And that'll get down for a base hit. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his That's hands fair. inside that ball, the stay right square as long as Number possible, 24. and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. Stepping in now, D.J. Stewart. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. Stewart. Playing here in his home state of Florida. This is his second year as a major leaguer. Hit in the air to shallow center. Kiermaier on the run. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. It's a run on two hits here for Baltimore. On now to the bottom of inning number one. It's the Orioles one, the Rays. Alex Cobb will do the pitching in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? 
Hey, Matty V, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's been, like, white hot. How about a whip under 1.00 in his last three starts? Not a lot of base runners, and that usually adds up to a lot of success. Let's see if he can continue to do that in this one here today. And, and that'll bring in Yandy race. Diaz. He'll leave things baseman. off here in the bottom half Yandy. of the first. Chris offering on its way. And, and he takes a cold strike, 0-1. Oh well, guys, these Orioles entering play today, they continue to fall on hard times, losing again last time out, and that makes seven losses in their last eight games. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. A ball and two strikes now. Great mid AB adjustment right there. Swung at the first high fastball and was able to take the second one. Fouled away. Looking forward the strikeout. Here's the one two. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Now a moment here in St. Pete for a glance at the Rays starting lineup. Dero what's the word on this lineup as they go for the series sweep. Yeah, Matty, you take a look at this lineup. The one thing that jumps out is the fact that they are last in stolen bases. They are station to station trying to hit the ball out of the ballpark, trying to get in good counts and drive the baseball out of the yard to create their runs. Now in the box, Brian Kwan, and he'll make his major league debut here. Always fun to watch a guy get his career started. Yeah, what a monster moment for not only himself, but his family, all the coaches, that have helped him along the way. This is a monumental moment in his career. His path to the big leagues wasn't the most direct, but you have to give him a whole lot of credit for getting here. He has a chance to make an impression on the higher-ups here in September and earn a more permanent spot on this roster next year. And he's done exactly that. And I'm sure he's had to prove himself to himself at moments, had to look in the mirror and decide, is this what I want to do with the rest of my life, grinding it out on the buses in the minor leagues? But it all comes to fruition now, stepping into the batter's box in the big leagues for the first, the first time. Base, and there's probably Eight, no happier person in the ballpark. Brian Kwan has just collected his first hit in the big leagues. And as is customary, there's the ball being sent into the dugout. Someone will tuck it away for him to put in his trophy case. Yeah, good for him and congratulations. Listen, he's worked his entire lifetime for this moment, and he's obviously trying to play cool right now, but you can bet inside his head, he's on top of the world. First pitch coming, here it is. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Lifetime history with Alex Cobb, just a one for nine. And it's quickly 0-2. And, Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses 1-2. and two. I know you have to protect the strike zone when you get the count to two strikes, but on an 0-2 pitch that misses by that much, it's pretty easy for a hitter not to swing at that one. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. And you see it there on your screen. Strikeout number 100 for him on the year, and that ain't bad. G-Man Choi the next to hit. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Swung on and missed for the first strike. That's a well placed fastball right there, just off the outside. If you can get guys to expand the strike zone and go after that pitch, you're going to have a lot of success. No luck that time, though. Boy, in a perfect spot for the splitter there. It's 0 and 2. You got to be paying attention as an offense in a hitter's meeting in this situation. When you got a guy on the mound that you know the bottom can drop out of any pitch he throws, you have to elevate your sights. And on 0-2, oh, he misses with a fastball. Quan leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. To two balls and two strikes now. 
well he kind of got caught chasing the first two pitches out of the strike zone but I think he's caught on to their game a little bit right now two tough pitches that he took with two strikes and now threw it right past him a swing and a miss at the gas and that ends the inning one left for Tampa they trail this one one to nothing and here's Renato Nunez in eight at bats in the series the he's collected three hits Renato first delivery Nunez. to him on the way and that's cut on and missed 0 and 1. A ball and two strikes. The next one two pitch and it's fouled away. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer and that's out number one. All right let's take a look at the Tampa Bay Rays on defense. That is, that hey guys today my spotlight's going to be on outfielder Austin Meadows. When I think of him I think of one word smooth. He's so sure handed out there offensively he's got that pretty swing and defensively he runs into the gap smooth people lock in on this guy he's going to be a star in the making that'll bring in the versatile Pat Valaika and he's hoping to get things going at the plate it's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games in there 0 and 1 his previous meeting line with Tyler Glass now he's hitless in three at bats Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. On to first, and there were two down. Batting eight. The catcher. Set to get his Austin day started. Wins. Austin wins. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to get things turned around in a hurry. There's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That will look like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. The throw into second. And going for it, the right call. He's in at second base with a two-out double. Everyone knows that this the guy's numbers field. are not where he Number wants them three. to be so far this year, but you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. Standing in now, nope. Cedric oh. Mullins. As he'll take a breaking ball too low, and it's 1-0. 2-0 now. Well, he's got a base open to use right here, and it looks like he might not be afraid to do that by the way he's pitching it. Sogard is there. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Stepping into the box, Austin Meadows is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Fastball on the first pitch, and it's taken for strike one. But facing right-handed pitching so far this season, Meadows has an eye-grabbing batting line, one that resides above the 340 plateau. You want to talk about having a career season, Maddie? This guy's batting average is through the roof, one of the best in the business. And maybe more importantly, his OPS is through the roof as well, which means he's doing it with damage. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And this is going to get on through into center, a leadoff hit. Well, when you're going as well as he is, not even a two-strike count is going to get in your way. Yeah, Matty, he's having a monster season, well over 300. Right there, when you're feeling that confident at the plate, it doesn't matter what the count is. You're willing to go deep and still feel confident. So striding forward now, Eric Sogard. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here's the first pitch to him. Yeah. And here's a fastball called for strike one. 
jumped ahead with strike one there, and that's something he's going to do a lot of in this start. He doesn't have lights out stuff, so it's important for him to be pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. Popped straight up. Number one is there. He's got it one away. Okay, here's how the birds line up today on defense. And guys, when I've been looking at the numbers on this starting pitcher, what really jumps out on me is the fact that he doesn't strike a ton of guys out, which means he's got to execute. He's got to use those 17 inches in, out, up, and down. He's going to have his defense behind him, and they better be on their toes because a lot of balls are going to be put in play in this one. So a runner at first with one man gone, and that means Kevin Kiermeyer will hit next. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Swing and a miss on a pitch below the knees. One strike. This is a tough guy right here to hit into a double play. He's fast and he swings from the left side, so out of the box he's going to get a good break. You might have to try to get the strikeout right here because very rarely are you going to get this guy to ground into a double play. Meadows leads off first with one away. Two balls and a strike. A veteran hitter certainly knows when he's got wheels on first base, he's probably getting a fastball and he's probably getting it middle away. Might be a great time to get super aggressive. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. 2 1 pitch is a splitter swung on and missed 2 and 2. Oh, and a great knuckle curve just buckled him there, and there are two gone. Runner on first in a double play situation, so Bad you expect game. to see a lot of pitches Not down in the zone, so I think that really? pitch up right there oh, was a good one. Obviously, the double play is more efficient, but you're always going to take a K when you're on the mound. Stepping up now, Willie Adamas, as he's been in a pretty good stretch over the last 10 or so ball games. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Nice piece of hitting right there. Kept his shoulders Got square, his hands inside the Look baseball, and was able to fight off a good, nice executed pitch go. for a knock. Here now is Mike Zanino as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Orioles out to an early 1-0 lead here in inning number two. A ball and a strike to Mike Zanino. One and two count to the Rays catcher. Check swing in the dirt, but he went around. And that ends the inning. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We'll go now to the top of the third. It's the Orioles one, the Rays nothing. Now to the plate, number one, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Number one. It comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And that misses ball one. A ball and a strike. Two balls and a strike to the Orioles' leadoff hitter. Two and two. two and the two. M.O. of this pitcher in the early going is certainly establishing the inside part of the plate. He has been dominant. Sometimes you just got to tip your hat if a guy can effectively, consistently pitch inside like he is. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. 
Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. A lot of righty pitchers will throw that two-seamer to right-handed hitters to try to jam the guy or even make some firewood. He got it in there, but that was a good take to lay off and take the ball. Now, Man, when you don't get a call on a pitch hitter. that good, Joey. you have to wonder if maybe it's Richard. personal. You can't blame him for being angry, but he's got to find a way to move on and focus on the next batter. Striding forward now is the D.H., Joey Rickard. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind Whoa, him, yeah. especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Ready with the 1-0 pitch. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. The 1-1. Runners yeah, off right. for second. He swings and misses. Throw down. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag. Well, when the stolen base is that close, it's interesting to check it out on show track. And as the numbers come in, you'll want to focus on the top speed. Really good, and it paid off there. As a look, now the pitch. Hit out towards second. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Now batter. Now with the plate, the Mark Trumbo. 0 for Mark. 1 for him here in Trumbo. this one. First pitch coming. Here it is. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 and 1. 0 and 1. Good curveball that time in the low 80s. Nothing in two. This is where, as a batter, you got to find a way to put something in the outfield. Get something elevated. I know you got to battle with two strikes and protect, but if anything is belt or above, you got to swing. Only play is going to be a first, so score it as an RBI yeah, that, ground out as the lead moves to two to nothing now. He's been great on the mound up until this inning, and yeah, he and his guys are behind two nothing now, but if he can seal the leak and hold these guys right here the rest of the way, this is still going to be a start he can be proud of. Stepping up now, Dwight Smith Jr. He'll try and start things over now with the bases empty and two away following the RBI ground ball. Taken off the outside as the breaking ball couldn't catch the corner. Called strike on the inside and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. That's a real tough pitch to hit. That's, as, in the pitcher's jargon, we call that the Hall of Fame pitch, that slider down and in. Really, the only way you're going to be able to hit that pitch is if you're looking for it down and in, and still then, it's a really difficult pitch to hit. Now the 3-2 and two pitch lifted down the line and left, and no one will track it down. I know it's a guessing game, but usually when you flip that coin, it better come up fastball at this level. You cannot be late right there. That was right in the wheelhouse. He loses him on ball four. And that's two free passes in the third inning alone. So you have to wonder if maybe it's something mechanical or if it's just psychological. Got to get back on track here. Digging in to try it again. DJ Stewart, 0 for 1 here in the early going. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. That's back-to-back -back pitches taken for strikes. Puts himself in a bad spot, 0-2. Let's see if he can... A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. So they scratch across a run here on no hits, no errors, and a man left. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Orioles two. The... We're back now as the Rays are preparing for their at-bats here in the third inning. And this lineup has been a huge bright spot for the ball club this season. They come into the day tops in the majors in team batting average. And talking with some of the players and coaches prior to the game, many of them told me that's something they take a lot of pride in. Batting average isn't as highly valued as it once was, but they said it's a clear indication that they're doing a lot of good things in the batter's box to help the team collect W's. Guys? Okay, thank you, Heidi. Leading off for the Reds. At the plate, Yandy Diaz. The third baseman. He went down swinging Yandy. to start the home first. Hey, yeah. we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. 
0-1. Here it comes. Fastball called for strike two. Hey, that's obviously the game plan against this guy. Bury it in on his hands. He finds himself down 0-2 now. He doesn't know if he's coming back in there or going breaking stuff down the way. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. That's the splitter there, but it misses one and two. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it two and two. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Popped up. This is taken in by Trumbo and there's out number one. So with one gone we take a look at the current standings entering play and it's not all that pretty as you can see these guys are well back in the division race already looking forward to next year. Digging in now Brian Juan he singled his last time up. First offering on its way. Splitter swung on and missed 0 and 1. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1 and 1. One out, nobody on. And it's 1 and 2. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. Wins, recovers, but he's not going to have a play, and they'll allow him to reach first after the strikeout. So that's like an error on the catcher there, and you can tell he's not happy back there. So a runner at first with one out now, and up next will be the power hitting first baseman, Big Jesus Aguilar. Here's the first pitch to him a swing and a shot hit down the corner. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. All right, that's when you got to tell yourself to slow down a little bit right there. Out in front on a fastball, hit it hard, but pulled it foul. Behind 0-2 now. Here it comes on nothing and two. A little bit off the outside, it's one and two. The one two and he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield Trumbo there to make the play and there are two gone now. Up next for so now it will be the four hole the hitter G Man Choi who looked to bounce back Choy. after striking out his last time up. Yeah and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball you could tell he was late on that one and we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Oh and one the count. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. He broke out the slide step there, Danny. Yeah, he's clearly thinking about the steal right here. Didn't happen, but the cat-mouse game continues on. The bouncer to the left side. And he'll go the short way to retire the side. Ray's strand just the one. They trail things here two to nothing. Start of the fourth upcoming but first Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Matt I had a chance to discuss the state of the Orioles offense with their manager between innings and overall he's really happy with the at bats they're putting together. It's still pretty early in the game but they've seen a lot of pitches already and he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning given the quality of the at bats they're putting together. OK thank you Heidi. 
Now at the plate, Renato Nunez, as we begin the top of the fourth. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Strike one to start the at-bat. Taken high and deep to right. Meadows ranging back to the track, to the wall. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Home run number 16 for him on the year. And the Orioles have now taken a 3-0 lead. Boy, you can see that he was dialed in on his curve from the second he released it. He saw the spin, knew it was coming back over the plate, and just crushed it. He was tracking it all the way. The batter, the second baseman, Pat Valaika. Into the box, Pat Valaika, as he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Swing and a long drive again. This one to deep center. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Up next for the Orioles, the catcher, Austin Wynn. Coming to the plate now, Austin wins one for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And it's a... Uh... Malika stands at second with no outs. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Seems to me like they're pitching him a little bit more cautiously after that double he had his first time up. The 3-1. Three, 3-2 three now. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Moving under it, Juan. One away. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. Now back. Digging in, Cedric Mullins. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. In there for strike one. 0 and 1. Three runs, five hits, one error thus far for Baltimore. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. The one-two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Well, his struggles continue. It's the been batter. a rough go of it at the plate with him. And watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. Into the box now, number one. As he'll wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. It was a walk in his last trip. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. All right, as a hitter right here, you got to know he's throwing you tough pitches. He does not want to miss over the heart of the plate. That's when you step out, regroup, maybe... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Orioles add on thanks to the solo home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now 3-0 Baltimore. Stepping into the box, Austin Meadows. He reached on a single. The right fielder, Austin. Meadows. First delivery to him on the way. And, oh, looked inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one.
swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. And here's a curveball that just about got away as it misses inside for a ball. Well, this team, they're swinging at everything, but that pitch was just a little too far out of the strike zone. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He takes the turn and heads for second. And the Rays strike quickly here in the inning. It's a leadoff double. But baseball is a game of streaks and runs, and no he matter. is on Number one nine. right now. Yeah, and Second you've got eight, to man. ride these streaks as Air long red. as you possibly can, and he's Air doing red. that coming in right here. Came into this game on fire with the stick, and he's doing that here. That's now two hits so far for him in this one. Here's Eric Sogard as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. No runs, four hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Mullins is there, one down. Now battle. Standing in, Fielder. Kevin Kiermeyer. Open one after he took a look Kiermaier. at strike three in his first plate appearance. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few A-Bs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the set bat. Ball. Too high, 1-0. With runners in scoring position this season, Kiermaier is holding on to a batting average way down in the 210s. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with his batting average this season, but he can beat you in a variety of different ways, and he has to because he wouldn't be here otherwise. One ball, one strike to count. The one two he is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. No batter, That's his one. fifth strikeout Shortstop. in this series alone. Really? In now, Willie Adamas, as he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. Meadows stands at second with two gone. Right. Not cheated on that swing, but the splitters buy him 0-2. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep him out of danger. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Ladies Dominic Leon, the 5'11 right-handed reliever, now enters to take over the on the mound now. Number 55, Dominic Leon. Digging in once again, Joey Rickard. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Joey grounded to short. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. At the plate, Mark Trumbo. His career numbers against this pitcher, just a one for nine. In there, strike one. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. Now batting, left fielder. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Dwight Smith Jr. It was a walk in his last trip. Here's a slider to start things out, but it misses by a few inches or so. It's ball one. Uh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. Oh, and this kicks right off of him. 
And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. And with that double, he's two for two and Number halfway 24. to the cycle. Gave it a good ride, and that's the second time he's barreled up the ball. So he's seeing the ball really well. See if his teammates can pick him up and bring him home now. Stepping in now, D.J. Stewart as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball 0 and 1 that's taken now it's 0 and 2 looking to put him away here's the 0 2 hit softly down the line at first the 0 2 once more this is pulled into right Meadows is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side Orioles leave one, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. We're back at Tropicana Field, and let's check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, Rays manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production. And he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and, and easy outs. The so the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone right. and forcing the opposing pitching no, to throw more strikes. Go. Thank you, Heidi. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Hit hard to short. And there's one down now. Third baseman number two. Now back to Yandy. the top of the lineup, stepping in, Yandy Diaz. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Slow roller down the third baseline. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. That fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in the wheelhouse and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. Struck him out and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Well, you could tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive on this guy, but he's 30. taking full advantage Ryan. of that. He's pounding the Whoa. zone with strikes and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. Into the box, Brian Kwan. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. and A hit in two tries for him so far. The 1-0. A swing and a miss, strike one. He's certainly done an amazing job right here. Grinding to get early two outs with the number two hitter and the middle of the order lurking. He would love to see three, four, five with no one on base next to him. One and two now. Looking for his 10th strikeout. Here's the pitch. Just stand alive, putting together a really good at bat here. The one, two. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Malika has it. Go on to Trumbull will be in time, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Rays. Still down 3 nothing. In now for the O's, Renato no, no. Nunez. He's set to lead us off in the sixth inning. Renato. And in that last at bat, it makes you think that this guy might have went up there looking for the breaking ball because he certainly got a breaking ball and he didn't miss it. Hit it right on the screws. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Quam, a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first out. The batter number six. Second Coming eight. to the plate now, Pat Valaika. He'll try to Valica. follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. On the outside black, good pitch called for a strike. Swung on and missed that strike two. The 0-2 delivery. Now a ball hit to center field and deep. Back goes the center fielder. Way back. And that ball is gone.
So it's a solo shot to dead center. Home run number nine on the year as the O's have extended their lead now four to nothing. I'm sure you know it's coming after that bomb. That's right. Let's check it out on show track. And as the numbers come in, we see it was projected at over 450 feet. An incredible home run to watch. Into the box now. now Austin wins the as the first pitch to Austin. him is in there for a cold strike Ooh. one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind. Bases are empty, one man out. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Every pitcher gives up home runs, some more than others. But the best the ones forget about them Number as soon three. as the next guy digs into the batter's box. He showed me a lot right there by going after the next hitter and striking him out on only three pitches. Standing in now, Cedric Mullins. And he takes ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Two out, nobody on. Turned on down the line. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. Throw into second. He just smoked this ball right down the line. Take a look here. Now Hard to tell if it was fair Number or foul one. in real time, but you can see it flies right over the bag. Ump was all over it and made a great call. Stepping in now, number one. No balls and a strike to count. He's one for two in this one. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. Mullins at second with two down. Sent on the ground out to second. Sogard has it. Throw over to Aguilar at first. He'll take care of him to end the inning. Orioles add on thanks to the solo home run. Through five and a half, it's now 4-0 Baltimore. Ready for another shot now. Jesus Aguilar. He'll have the opportunity to kick things the off as we man. begin the home hey, sixth. Two. This one doesn't oh, look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Rounded down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. That's ten strikeouts for him now. And I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. Settling in now, G-Man Choi. No hits to this point. Here comes the first pitch. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1 0. The 1 1. He swung on and missed for strike number two. Watching him on the mound, I'm really impressed with what he's doing right now. He's been really aggressive and confident over the last couple of innings. Nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Choi is retired. Two down now. Riding in once again, Austin Meadows. And then it's... First delivery to him on the way. Sliced hard down the left field line. And that is down as that could be two bases. 
And he is in the second base with a double. His third hit this afternoon. As we no take batter. a look no at his top. numbers, a couple of second things base, jump man. out at you. And Hell here's man. the thing from a pitcher's perspective. No you look at this line and you think, wow, he's been sitting guys down all game long. And that's true. But on the flip side, his pitch count is up there. You have to wonder if he might be starting to get a little bit tired in this one. Yeah, and in today's game, everyone seems to want to err on the side of caution in terms of pitch counts. From the belt, the pitch in tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 0. The 1 0. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. Go on to Trumbull will be in time, and the inning is over. One left for Tampa. They trail here 4 to nothing. Back here at Tropicana Field in St. Pete. Orioles leading this one through six as we take a look at our game summary to this point. Your Jeremy Jeffries please. is on to pitch now from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 32, Jeremy Jeffries. And now the designated hitter for the Orioles, Joey Rickard. Previous meetings hitter. with Jeremy Jeffress, Joey. he's 0 for 4. And a fastball's in there for strike one. And he struck him out. So he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Not a lot of guys throw that knuckle curve, but some guys have a lot of success with it. Some say it has more bite than the traditional curveball, but I think it's more of a feel thing. It just works for certain pitchers, and it worked right there. Here's Mark Trumbo now as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. And he fouls this one off. Line to the right side, but that's a foul ball. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Get the ball for this man. He needs to put that on the mantle. Now He's been struggling. Let's the season hasn't gone according to plan, but he's staying pop committed and grinded out a nice knock. Into the box, Dwight Smith Jr. As he'll swing and hit this one hard, but foul off to the left and out of play. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Oh, one pitch on its way. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Trumbo, base runner at first with one out. Right down Main Street, caught him looking. Now batting. Number 24. Ready now for Baltimore. DJ Stewart. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Hard on the ground towards short. And there's his first base hit in this one. What a nice piece of hitting right there. Now Didn't try and do too feet. much. Stayed on Renato. the attack. Kept his hands inside the ball and took what the pitcher gave him. Ready now, Renato Nunez. He's working on a one for three thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. Strike taken as that one crosses over the inside part of the plate. Line towards center field. That's in there. Base hit. And they'll put the brakes on that runner at third, and that means the bases are loaded now with two away. The batter number four. Boy, this is a big Second inning, Bruin. How about back Pass. to back to back singles? The bags are loaded, and he is in deep trouble. Yes, he is, no doubt about it. Nothing fires you up more than knocking the donut off your bat on the on deck circle and realizing all the pillows are taken right now. Major traffic. You got to stay within yourself, not try and do too much, and get a pitch in your zone. First delivery to him on the way. 
just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Here's the 0 1. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Line drive, right field, base hit. One run scores. He'll get it into second. But he is in there with a two-run double. I mean, that had to feel good right there, yeah, Dan. That's his third the RBI of the game and awesome. extends his team's lead. Mm. They might have this one locked up. Well, I tell you, those are always big, those add-on insurance runs. Big RBI right there for a little bit more breathing room. First pitch is a splitter for a called strike. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Hit out towards second. Fielded by Sogard. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. It is stretch time here in Tampa. Leading off the inning, Kevin Kiermeyer, And they'll need him to get... The center fielder, Kevin Kiermeyer. First offering on its way. There's a fastball called for a strike on the inside corner. One of the keys to pitching late in the game's first pitch strikes, and this guy's rolling along. So far, over 70% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Throw to first is in time for the first out. The batter, number one. one out now in the Tampa Good Bay stop. seventh, and Willie. up next will be Willie okay. Adonis. First pitch coming, here it is. What? Pitch taken, several inches below the zone, in fact. One out, nobody on. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now, 2-0. and oh. Now, when you've got a six-run lead out there, there's no reason not to go right at, guys. You have to keep attacking the zone. Zero. Uh, offered it a low one there, but came up empty. Something that stood out to me in this game is the lineup's lack of a solid plan at the plate. Seems like way too many guys are chasing pitches out of the zone and trying to hit pitchers' pitchers like that one down and away. There's no success in that. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat as this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. Uh, and he's just rolling right now and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. The bottom third of the lineup hasn't put up a lot of resistance now, in this one. Pretty much has been sure outs other than that one hit. That really puts a lot of pressure on other guys to make stuff happen. These aren't the guys you usually count on, but it certainly helps if they can do something productive. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. This offense is going to have to find a way to get going. It's happened in the past. Every team goes through it where everyone seems to fall into a funk at the same time. Everyone needs to relax and not try and be the hero and just start getting the leadoff guy on. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he's got another one. 13 strikeouts now, and the inning is over. Rays go in order. One, two, three. They still find themselves down. Six zip. So stepping in, Cedric Mullins. The center fielder, number three. Here comes the first pitch. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0-1. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Still no balls and two strikes. The next 0-2. And another foul ball. Mm -hmm. 
ready with another 0 2. Struck him out, so he set down on strikes for the second time today. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, Not right? All he wants to Number do is one. get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. In now, number one, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He was a ground out victim last time up. Good zip on that one as he just throws it by him for strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. A ball and two strikes to the Orioles shortstop. Pretty late with the swing there. As a pitcher, you have to recognize that and keep coming in with the hard stuff until he proves he can hit it. That's popped up. Sogar ranges back, and he has it for out number two. Now in back. now, Joey Rickard. Rickard. He struck out swinging Joey. in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Sogar ranging into the outfield. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. One, two, three, go the Orioles. But they're on top by a count of six to nothing. So Tampa's batting order turns over and set to go. And Yandy Diaz and Dan he and his fellow top the of the order baseman. hitters haven't really offered Yandy. much help for this lineup so far. Diaz. No, your one, two, three guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action. And they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one. Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll see if it happens. Stewart is there. One pitch, one out. The left fielder, number 30. Into the box now, Brian Kwan. He bats for the fourth time in his career, having already collected his first hit. Not a bad first day, huh? Yeah, you can never take this day away from him, Matt. No matter what happens in this fourth A.B., he's going to get in his car today. He's going to relive every moment, every step that it took to get here. And the fact that he has a batting average when he wakes up in the morning is huge. Hard liner to center field. Mullins is there now, and he has it to gone. The first base Boy, sometimes they say 21. you hit it hard, good things will happen. Eight, well, that's not the case Arby right Law. there. That was a bullet that just stayed up and is caught in the outfield. Standing in now, Jesus Aguilar. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. He went down on strikes last time up. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. A 1 1. It is strike two swinging. I know we want to focus on the offense and how bad they've been so far, but can we give some love to the pitcher? He has had these guys in the rocking chair all day. And he's going to add to the total. 14 punch outs now as that ends the inning. Down in order go the Rays. They won't make a dent in a 6 to nothing deficit. Stepping in, Mark Trumbo. He scores. Leading off for Baltimore, the first baseman, Mark Marco Lorenz, Trumbo. comes on to pitch now, please. hoping for better results now than the other the arms range. that they've run out there in Number this one. 34, Marco Lorenz. First pitch coming, here it is. Ninth <laughs> inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. Now the pitch. Hot shot on the ground is short. Adama scoops it up and a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the, the out. The left fielder. So Dwight here's the cleanup Smith. hitter, Dwight Smith Jr. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, he failed to pull a battle. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And the effort pays off as he's able to recover and get the second out of the inning. 
Now so back. striding in, Number DJ 24. Stewart. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. A bouncer up the middle, and that's through for a hit. Now batting, the third baseman, Renato Nunez. Stepping up to the plate, Renato Nunez. He went deep earlier, and he's two for four to this point. In there, and it's 0-1. In the dirt here. Good job keeping it close as the count goes to 1-1. One and one. Now the one and one pitch takes a pass and misses that strike two. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Yeah and they set him up with that curveball on the pitch before and that one they just blew right by him. And they could go either way now I suppose. And this is turning ugly now as this ball's down for extra bases. Well the beat goes on with this guy runner in scoring oh, position no doubt hit. when he comes up the he's thinking base. RBI what does he do Pass. double the drive and another down. run this guy is a money money run producer. Into the box now Pat Valaika as the first pitch misses to him it's ball one another RBI spot for him he's already got three in the game. That's now a breaking ball but it's low. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. Hit out towards second. Sogard ranging to his right. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Orioles get a run on the RBI double. Last chance for the Rays coming up. It's the Orioles. Ladies Richard Blyer is on now out of the please. bullpen as he'll make his now, 70th appearance so far this Number year. Number 48, Richard Blyer. To the plate now for the Rays is the DH. G-Man Choi. And he's going to lead things the off Rays. in their half of the ninth the as they hitter. try to avoid the dreaded shutout. Shore. It's never a good feeling to get shut out. And over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. Ball one to start the at-bat. The 1-0. He's outside for a ball. Well, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind 2-0 doesn't exactly help the situation very much. Cut fastballs in for a strike 2-1. and one. Blyer has racked up over 70 innings on the mound and in that time he's allowed just barely over a base runner per inning which of course is very good. Struck him out struck him out again I should say his third punch out of the game. There's a look at the final line for the Orioles starter great right day's fielder. work any way you look at it. Hey, Matty V, you know when you've got really good stuff, you look down at that strikeout total, double-digit strikeouts in this one. He had swing and miss stuff right from the beginning. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Austin Meadows trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. And now a right-hander up and throwing in the Baltimore bullpen. One out. Nobody on.
Nope. That misses one and two. This is on the ground over to first. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And a nice job to stay with it that time and get the second out of the inning. Now about it. Standing in, base Eric base. Sogard. Eric. He was retired via the ground ball Sogard. last time up. First pitch of the at-bat. Sends that one out of play for strike one. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Two out, nobody on. Tampa down to their final strike in this one. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, baseball is a game of streaks and runs, so a four-game skid happens to even the best of teams. The key is they didn't panic or press. They just came out here played their game and put the losing streak behind him like professionals are supposed to do well done a seven nothing shutout final today Baltimore jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back Alex Cobb earned his ninth win of the year racking up 14 K's in doing so Tyler Glasnow was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss so that's a wrap for us in this one Mark DeRosa Dan Plezak Heidi Watney Matt Vaskersian we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network see you next time our final line score this afternoon first for the victorious Orioles seven runs on 14 hits.